In this one, we've got a 413 matchup here in the West region. Remember, that's the bottom right hand corner of your bracket. In this one, we got the four seed Yukon Huskies taking on the 13 seed Iona Gales. First of all, for Yukon, great season for the Huskies 25 and 8 this year, fourth in Big East play. This was one of the streakier teams in college basketball. They had multiple win and loss streaks of over three games. Very unique for a power five team very balanced overall offensively especially this team really solid sixth in the nation in offensive efficiency they move the ball really well they have a really high assist rate they've got two really good scorers and they're also tremendous on the offensive glass they are first in the nation in offensive rebounding you love that about this husky squad Defensively, they're really solid as well. 18th in the nation in defensive efficiency. Again, that one-two scorer duo, Jordan Hawkins on the outside is a terrific scorer shooter. He can get really hot from the three-point line for the Huskies. And then in the middle, Adama Sanogo is terrific as well. He is an absolute paint beast and can be a monster on the offensive glass. I think in this matchup particularly, he might end up dominating the glass. The only problem I have with this UConn squad is they can be inconsistent sometimes, right? And we've seen that with their win and loss streaks throughout the year. I think this UConn team has the talent and makeup to go on a Final Four run. It's just, can they put it all together for four games consistently in a row? I'm just not so sure. For the Iona Gales, what a season for Rick Pitino's squad. 27-7 and seven this year. They win the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, the MAAC. They've won 14 games in a row coming into this tournament. This team really solid on the defensive end. They're 67th in the nation in defensive efficiency. They're especially good at guarding that three-point line. Eighth in the nation in that regard. They give up 29% from three. That is a big number and very solid in today's modern game with such a heavy emphasis on that three-point line. The Gales have a really weird pace because they play one of the fastest offensive paces in all of college basketball. However, they play one of the slowest paces on the defensive end. So they make their opponents really work for shots on the defensive end, but on the offensive end, they can get their looks quickly. This team has three players that average 15 plus points per game. Very diverse scoring attack from this Gales squad. The one problem I have with this Gales team, they cannot rebound. They are one of the worst defensive rebounding teams in the country. A lot of that is because they want to get out and run. And that's going to bite them in the butt in this game because UConn is so good on the offensive glass that unless the Gales absolutely crash the glass for 40 minutes, they are going to get killed in this game on second chance points. Now, I think the glass is really going to be the deciding factor in this game. If UConn dominates the offensive glass, gets a bunch of second chance points, Iona's got no shot in this game. However, if they put an emphasis on crashing the glass, maybe limiting themselves in transition a little bit, but it's a little bit of a give and take there. You got to box out, you got to get rebounds to put an emphasis on on that side of the basketball. If they can do that, they can keep this game close because they're good enough offensively and they're really solid defensively, especially guarding that three-point line. In the end, if I had to put this on the upset scale, I'd say this is somewhere between an unlikely upset and let's talk about it. I think Iona's a really good team. I just can't get over the fact that they are so bad on the defensive glass and UConn is so good on the offensive glass. So for that reason, I'm going to go with the UConn Huskies to get by Rick Pitino's squad and move on to the second round. Do you want to win your March Madness bracket pool? Do you want to not only beat your friends, but humiliate them? If that sounds good to you, subscribe down below because we are previewing all 36 first round games of the NCAA tournament and give you the info you need to crush your friends and dominate your bracket pool.